Welcome back. For the past two months, we have been bringing you stories of people doing things for those in their communities looking for help, support, or maybe just a smile. The story you're about to see covers all of those bases. As soon as this COVID thing hit, we were really worried about our community. We were worried about our community and they're not having the ability to feed their families and take care of themselves. I kept trying to find a way to help out. Risa Rowe is a local Treasure Valley business owner. She and her husband own a horse boarding business and a painting company. She says they've been lucky enough to keep working through the crisis, but she wanted to do something to help gather food for those in need. So she did in the most delightful way. Maggie O'Mara has tonight's Seven's Hero. Look at the camel. Yep, that's a camel walking down the street in a subdivision. It's certainly not something you see, well, ever. Oh, that's amazing. But that's just what happened in this Meridian community. This is a no contact, socially distanced animal parade. It was really fun to watch the kids come out and see animals walking down their street that they probably would never have seen before. We had a camel, uh, you know, donkeys, horses, goats, chickens, dogs, um, ducks. Risa Rowe and a whole team of animal lovers are behind all the fun. What happened with this incredible animal parade that you put on in Meridian? It was spectacular. These poor kids, you know, they're not with their friends, they're not in school, they're not having the fun outlets that they used to have. And there's a need for some entertainment and um, for our children in the community as well. And as long as they can keep it safe um, and bring a parade, a private parade, to their communities so that they can watch it from their front yard or their windows, then we would walk with, you know, social distancing and wearing masks and we would be very safe and we would walk down their street so they could see something. But the reaction from the kids as you came oh, down the street, it was incredible. And I could see the kids lining up. And it just brought so much joy to my heart because as you're coming down the road, you see these kids um, just waiting just anxiously to see these animals. Of course, the camel led the parade, so it's just a craziest thing to see a camel walking down their street. And the kids were just so excited. And I would hear things like, Mommy, I can't believe this is actually happening. But this wasn't just a parade, it was also a food drive. If they can leave food um, while we walk down the street with these various animals, um, great. So how did you all get the yeah. word out that you were going to be collecting food along the way? Well, once I got my sponsor, they were really good. They have a Facebook page or a Nextdoor app, and they were really good about getting the information out. But if you have the means to allow, you know, to, to put some food street side, go ahead and do that, and we'll pick it up. And if you don't have the means, don't worry about it. We're just here for a win-win. Um, we collected 2,000 pounds of food this last food drive. We're also putting together emergency boxes uh, for a direct delivery. So far, there have been three animal parade food drives in the Treasure Valley. Each one has been a huge hit. How does it feel to give back in this way? It is amazing to be able to give back. I am grateful uh, to have the ability to offer the community something that I hope gives them hope and some food if they need it. I'm here. Thank you to Risa Rowe and her crew of volunteers they're making life a lot more fun for families, all while gathering food for those in need. These lucky kids will look back one day and say, remember that time a camel came through our subdivision? Is that a camel? They'll remember that for the rest of their lives. Seven's Heroes.